ओके हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज गगन सिंह प्लेइंग मास्टर इफेक्ट टू लेजेंडरी एडिशन ऑन माय लीजन 5 प्रो एंड वी जस्ट डिड द शैडो ब्रोकर मिशन इन आवर लास्ट वीडियो एंड वी विल जस्ट यू नो टॉक अराउंड टॉक विद द क्रू एंड देयर आर कपल ऑफ डॉसियर मिशंस यू नो दैट मेन स्टोरी लाइन लॉयल्टी मिशंस लाइक मेलन वी हैव टू सेव मेलन ऑन टुचंका एंड स्पीकिंग ऑफ टुचंका वी हैव टू गो देयर एंड with grunt actually to find out what's you know wrong with him and a couple of uh, other missions so let's uh, talk with the crew first i noticed the fish tank up in your cabin if you'd like i could feed your fish while you're away i'd appreciate that kelly it's my pleasure anyway what's up that'll be all good luck out there shepherd uh okay yeah Let's just stop with uh, Miranda first. Let's see if she have to. Yo, oh, okay. Let's just uh, talk with uh, Samara and then Thane. You have to talk with characters. You know, uh, uh, after every mission, so you know their storylines, their loyalty missions can be unlocked. I am glad I joined your team. It has been too long since I traveled with companions. When the time comes, I will do whatever is necessary. You're an important part of this crew, Samara. It is my honor. Also, there is a matter I need to discuss. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morin. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is right now. In a month she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega, a nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life and the reason I became a Justicar. She is trying to kill this Marit for 400 years and she is known as you know the best justicar there is who couldn't kill who couldn't find and kill her uh, you know target for 400 years come on man tell me about her she is an ardat yakshi it is a term from a dead asari dialect it means demon of the night winds But that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardat Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morith. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death? It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morant does not want to be cured, She won't be. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. 
She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. So you know when Shepard moves forward and uh, tries to console her, she takes a step back because we uh, have just recruited Samara onto our team and we haven't formed a relationship with her. I don't know. Yeah. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, made it with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find more. So, uh, it's very important that we go to afterlife, you know, that club on Omega. Okay, we haven't spoken to Thane also. He's one of the, you know, kind friends, uh, the Mass Effect lore. Let's see what he has to say. This is the first time we are talking with uh, Thane. Shepard. I mentioned when we met on Ilium that I was dying. It's called Keprel Syndrome. It's not communicable, but I have less than a year to live. Are you feeling sick? I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. My mortality has me dwelling on things. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyat jumps into the room. I thought it. Runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads. He tugs my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Oh, not all at once. Nothing dramatic, no sneaking out in the middle of the night, no final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. You know, uh, Thane always talk uh, in a mystical manner. Like, uh, <clears throat> you know, when he says, 
when my wife's body departed from her body like when he says that my wife uh, departed from her body it's like kind of like you know religious uh, kind of vibe you get from thane spiritual actually not religious spiritual kind of vibe that's not the choice i expected why didn't you raise him yourself my body is blessed with the skills to take life the hanar honed them in me i have few others i didn't want that life for kolya i hoped he would find his own way if he hated me so be it he would not have shared the path of sin i used my contacts to trace kolya he has become disconnected he does what his body wills you'll have to explain that one to me disconnected the body is not our true self the soul is body and soul work as one in a whole person when the soul is weakened by despair or fear when the body is ill or injured the individual is disconnected no longer whole and now i'm back what's wrong with him is he hurt something happened that should not have he knows where i've been what i've done i don't know his reasons but he has gone to the citadel he's taking a job as a hitman i would like your help to stop him he is this is not a path he should walk hmm you don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing i'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name and assumed we share skills i don't know why he would accept the task you be closer to you maybe that thought haunts me more than any other maybe he name dropped you to get hired it's possible but i don't think so it doesn't seem right my name he should not respect it then i don't have your contacts and i don't have your tracking skills why do you need my help for this i don't need your help i want it the last time i saw my son they wrapped her body in sea bones waited it with stones he tries to pull from me calls for her the hand on lift her off the platform they sing like bells the fire has gone to be king of the new he begs them not to take her away they let her body slide into the water he hits me don't let them stop them why weren't you rains it always rains on kaje warm water pours down his face i didn't mean to make you relive that perfect memory it is sometimes a burden what made him go to the citadel years ago i prepared a package for him a relic of my ill spent life i had volus banker store it and arranged for delivery when i died he acquired it early i don't really know how i did wet work on the citadel around the time his mother died that may be why he went there i'll get us to the citadel as soon as possible thank you shepherd i'll be meditating until you need me okay what an interesting uh, conversation i guess oh kasumi people are talking out there and i hear it all so you and kelly huh sounds like you two had a nice date i thought she was coming on to me at first but maybe she was just being friendly to the new girl liara tsoni's got quite a reputation i've done business with her people before i hear you and she were an item before I bet it was hard running into her again after all this time. My heart goes out to Miranda and her sister. That's a rough situation. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. This is how she talks, uh, Kasumi. There are some artifacts so we can get her insights. Don't laugh. I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands. Their musty smell. It's relaxing. KJ used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. Oh. So here you go guys, in the future books you know will go like extinct I guess in the future. Paper books. That's my favorite piece. painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. 
I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. KG dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. That painting has a special place in my heart. An art collector hired me to steal it. When I got there, the painting was gone. On the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. We never did turn it into our employers. Kind of like sweet story, you know? The Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single Red Rose. It wasn't until I met KG that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. Hmm. <coughs> okay, in Mass Effect 2, uh, the upgraded version, the DLC version, you can now drink liquor. And not only that, you can actually make uh, a cocktail with like two drinks in a single glass. See, this, this, this was a red bottle and now you can choose a blue one also. Okay, now this is a strong drink. The camera is moving like, you know, like you're a little lazy. You can drink a few drinks and after that maybe Shepard feels a little sleepy, you know. Okay, uh, let's uh, talk with Miranda also. I think in this video we'll just tour the ship and talk with our crew. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself. For what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. So, this is the moment when you start to form a relationship with Miranda. Uh, just be her friend and, you know. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister. A friend. Are you going to talk to her again? I honestly don't know. For once, I haven't planned that far ahead. I'll deal with it after our mission. I have to stay focused, and she needs time to adjust to her new home. You never told me what you talked about. I introduced myself. Her family was shocked. She adjusted quickly, of course. She's as smart as I am. She plays the violin, loves the adagio movement of Nielsen's fifth, just like I do. She wants to work in colony development. Told a joke about it. She's really funny. Something we don't share. They all talked about it in just uh, five minutes. The Miranda first time saw her. Okay. But you know, I'll go with this option that uh, it is nice to see Miranda smile. It's funny, I think of you as all business. Good to see that there's a person under there. The mission's too important to let personal feelings interfere. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Okay, so that was good. Thank you, Commander. Rupert put the new supplies to good use. You're welcome, guys. Does Dr. Chuck was has to say have to say something? Commander, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you, but I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. 
brandy go straight to my head. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Guess I hadn't realized how much those feelings needed airing. But I didn't give you much of a chance to vent. So tell me now. What do you think? Everyone's depending on us. We won't let them down. They just don't make them like you anymore, Shepard. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. Okay. We shared a bottle of ice brandy. Serious ice brandy, actually. That was good. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel, named Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. Garrus's face and his armor is still like, you know, torn apart and there are so many scratches and blast marks all over his uh, armor. It looks painful. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Okay, <coughs> we have unlocked two loyalty mission on the Citadel and uh, I think the third one also we have to help Kasumi. Any other member? Maybe in the engineering? We can talk to Zaid but he is also like uh, Kasumi and doesn't really say much. Just talk with Jack. I need to get to Pragya, Shepard. Soon. Remind me what you wanted me to do. I need your help to face my past with Cerberus. I need to get to Pragya, Shepard. Soon. Okay. I'll think about that. Meanwhile, I have to go. Yep. So, Pragya it is. And, uh... Tally's mission hasn't unlocked yet. And, uh... Okay, let's go and say hello to Zaid. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute? You might learn something. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varicam. Turian frigate. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died. Abandoned. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. Tough fight on Horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band well on the way to Omega. Collectors and Protheans. It's all about my pay grade. I'm more used to putting down rebellions, tracking down bastards who didn't pay their gambling debts. Still, even I know a galaxy-shaking revelation when I hear one. Makes fighting land wars for pay seem small time. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. So as you can see, his uh... oh, <laughs> that's so. This is a garbage compactor. If you use a garbage compactor, a piece of garbage will fall, and uh, we can vacuum that garbage into space. Look at that. 
My god. There's a lot of garbage over here. Come on, Zaid, what are you doing? What is that, a Krogan helmet? Guilty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Kizak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. So as you can see, Zaid is, uh, you know, has this, you know, computer set up to... Oh my god, he can actually surveillance... Oh my god, he can actually, you know... Oh my god, he can actually spy on, like... Every section, even... Look, we can see Joko over there, the hallway, this Joker, you know... Even the command center, the cooking... Sorry, the way where the chef stands. That's creepy, I guess. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye. Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, what's up? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Let's read some. Uh Messages, hundred messages, Shepard. Moreland seems like you know Marlene from England, that musician, that wizard. <laughs> Might be an ad. Detective Anaya getting some around the British. Okay. Everyone is thanking me and you know appreciating that I helped them. That is a sweet touch. Okay, that's nice. Again, another thank you message from Leslie. Okay, yeah. Good, good guardian angels. Or oh, yeah, lost on the house. This is the right commercial. I'm not a musician. Okay, <coughs> little chat with Joker also, I guess. He's the last member to, you know. So the collectors were once Protheans, repurposed by the Reapers. What a sad end. Makes you wonder if the keepers on the Citadel were once something different. Hmm. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. It's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. That's it for now. See you, Commander. 
okay guys uh, this was a video where we have to you know uh, get in touch with our crew to talk with everybody and to see where we are headed next so this will be a to be continue video and uh, in the next video we will do a mission we will probably go to omega we have a couple of missions over there so to be continue guys bye bye